Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Lexi. If you're new, then hey. If you're existing, then hey. Welcome to my channel. So today's video, we're doing a pink cut crease. I did this makeup look actually on live yesterday, and I loved it so much, but I was just going to bed. So I was like, let me remake this look for a tutorial. It was really fun to do. I'm just really, I just really like this look. It makes me feel so happy. Just the vibrant colors. It just makes me feel good. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and stay tuned. All right, so I'm using the shade Puree from the Too Faced palette, and I'm just gonna go in this same motion that you see me moving the brush in. This is a blending brush. I already primed my lid um, with LA Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey, and I set it with the translucent powder. I always use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I then go in with Charmed I'm Sure from the Too Faced Peach palette. And I'm going to do that same motion. I like to move in that motion because I'm doing an elongated cut crease. And it just gives me an outline because I'm going to go outside of like where the brow is. So we just follow that line which e with each color that I apply. And I'm blending that shade on out and then I apply it with another brush I like to apply it with the eye crease brush because I feel like it just is more precise and then I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Nubian palette with that brown shade and we're gonna go ahead and go on top of that same shade with the same motion I like to build upon colors just to make the colors really really pop so that's what we're gonna do Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with the LA Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey. So I'm using the e.l.f. concealer brush. I got this from Target for $1. And I'm going to go ahead and carve out my actual cut crease. Just for a little trick, I place concealer on, the, on my eye, like in the middle. And then I look up and then it gives me the line. I'm going to show you it like really precise on my other eye so you'll see in a few seconds how I do it and now I'm just filling that in I'm gonna do a whole cut crease video um someone asked me to do one so I'm gonna do that I'm just showing you all a little bit of how I do it all right so we got that all filled in and I just like to pat just to make sure everything is like smooth and it dries out evenly because you want it to look even. And I don't want anything to be sheer. So I want it all to be like, I can't see through it. All right, so the next eye, I'm placing a little bit on the middle of the eye. And then I'm gonna look up. Where you see that line is where I should cut my crease. So you see the line? That's where you cut your crease. If you have a hard time figuring out where to go ahead and start that line and we're just going to go ahead and make the concealer meet that line and go ahead and fill it on in cutting your crease is really easy once you get the hang of it and um, it's really not as hard as people think it is you just got to stop thinking about it just take your time and you can do it for sure you can definitely do it I always do this part as if I'm doing my wing liner, so I consider it the same thing, and then I just fill it in with the concealer. Go ahead and fill it in. I'm going to just make it really precise. You want it to look really neat, because when you apply the color, you want it to look, look really neat. If you apply it sloppy, when you apply the color, it's going to look sloppy. So take your time on this part. Take your time. And that's it. 
So we're going to go in with this pink shade from the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to go ahead and place that on with a flat brush. I'm literally placing it on. I sped it up for the sake of the video. But take your time on this part because you don't want to get product everywhere. Um, just literally pat the shade on. You don't have to do all that extra. Just pat it, pat it, pat it until it's complete. I'm doing it on the other eye as well. I feel like this eye wasn't long enough. So I'm going to take some concealer and just draw a line just to make it a little bit longer. And then we'll fill it in with um, the same pink shade. Now I'm using my Ruby Kisses eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and draw on my wing liner. I use an e.l.f. eyeliner brush to do that. And then I take the NYX Glitter Primer, which I absolutely love for my glitter. And I don't want the eye to be fully, like, full of glitter. I just wanted to have that little glow to it so you can tell that it is some glitter. So I pat this on with a small brush. This is a Sonya Kashuk brush. It just came in a set. It doesn't have a number or anything. And then I just pat like a, it's like an iridescent glitter. Um, I'm trying it out for my, from my company. So I will be offering glitter soon. So I'm just patting that onto the eye. And that's how it looks. It was simple. I'm putting on my mascara. And I'm going to get into my contour and the highlighting routine. If you want a more in-depth video on that, I will place the link down below for my highlighting and contouring. I just wanted to show you all me doing it, but I just sped it up because I don't want the video to be really, really long where you're like, what the heck? So I have my highlighting con and contouring routine down below. I'm going to update that routine really, really soon because I do a few things a little different. If you watch my lives, you already know how I highlight and contour. This video was just really for the pink cut crease. I'm using the blue eyeliner pencil from Sephora. I just like the way this looks with this pink color. I think it looks really, really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with that and put more mascara on the bottom lashes. I like my bottom lashes to look really dominant. Um, that's just always the look I'm going for. I just think it's really, really cute. <laughs> I'm using the elf by Alyssa Ashley lip gloss this is my favorite lip gloss it has like a nude tint and I just feel like it pulls any look together it pulls out the pink hints like if you have on blush or if you have on pink eyeshadow it just makes it look so good it's just so bomb and we're almost done with this look I think I'm gonna order another one of these she said it was going back on sale I just didn't watch the video I hope it goes back on sale like tomorrow so I can buy some more cuz <laughs> I love it so 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 much it's so gorgeous. All right, y'all. So that's the finished look.
is the finished makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, so this makeup look, I'm absolutely in love with it. I love it so, 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 so much. I feel like it's so easy to accomplish too. With a little bit of practice, you can really just accomplish anything. Um, I was concealing on this side and it was just not working out for me, but nonetheless, we got the look together. Boo, 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 boo. Alright y'all, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with someone today. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by February, so I need your help. Well, in February. It doesn't have to be by February, but in February. So I need your help. I'm like 3,000 away. <laughs> Literally 3,000. So, I need your help. Share, share, share. Shout me out on your Instagram. Shout me out on your social media. Leave a comment so that I know that you like this makeup look. I'm going to give you all more makeup tutorials. I know I don't do a lot of them. I more so do my makeup on live. But we're going to get into it, baby. We're getting into it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.